Ritt, you uh, play against your former teammates here in uh, Helve 71. How was it? Yeah, it's good. Uh, always nice to be back in Jönköping and uh, great fans here, good atmosphere and uh, still some friends on the team. Some guys that I played with here and then a couple guys I played with in, uh, in the Islanders organization as well. So nice to see those guys and uh, yeah, always nice to play here again. You know uh, many players in every team. Yeah, that's true. Uh, when you bounce around like I have, you tend to make a couple of relationships along the way. So it's nice to see your old friends all the time. And, and the game tonight, what do you say? For uh, the team. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think overall we play a pretty good game. We we score enough goals to win, and uh, I think we carried a lot of the momentum throughout the game. Uh, for me, I, I just think we need to get a little bit tighter defensively um, in front of our net. And and then in the neutral zone, I think we give up too many two-on-ones, and we have too many little breakdowns. and. That's all of us. It's not just our defensemen. It's our forwards too, and just uh, being a little bit tighter and and taking away those easy chances, I guess you can say, and making them earn it a little bit more. So give them credit. They made good plays with the chances that they got. Um, so it's a tight game. Could go either way. Uh, overall, I think there's a lot of positives to take, but definitely some areas of improvement. And you score your uh, uh, 26 uh, points. Uh, the last season you scored 27 points. Uh, it's only one. Point left. Uh, what's the bigger, biggest difference if you compare to last season? Yeah, um, definitely wanted to take a step. I think every year, every year you want to get a little bit better than the year before. So uh, that was just a hunger that I had. Um, and then I think if you look at a guy like Andy, who I've I've, I've had a consistent centerman all season long, who's uh, definitely made my game better too. Just having that chemistry in this league is so important to build that consistency. So. Um, yeah, and he's definitely played a, played a big role in that as well. And uh, um, we've filtered through some different wingers throughout the season. Uh, but I think Zar played a really good game tonight and uh, excited to keep playing with him. And uh, so, yeah, just just uh, some pucks have been going in this year and just want to keep building off of it. You and uh, Mili, is better and better for every game you played uh, 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 together? Mm. Yeah, <coughs> we're just trying. We're, Two, two hungry guys. I, I, we're skilled guys, but we want to improve in all the areas of our game and um, be counted on more in offensive situations, defensive situations, and and just kind of show that leadership. Um, two guys that have been around for a little while now and, and uh, still have a lot of hunger in us. So uh, trying to improve every night. And, and, and then, of course, chemistry improves as you play with someone more and more. So that's something that just naturally comes. There was uh, one situation in the first period when you uh, danced the chicken dance. The chicken dance, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was a reference to the guy. He, my stick was in his midsection, but I wasn't hooking him, and he, he chicken armed <laughs> like a chicken wing. He chicken armed my stick, and it, I wasn't. It got stuck in him, of course. If you're gonna put your arm down on someone's stick, so that was kind of, I guess, the reason I got that penalty. <laughs> and I give the referee a lot of a lot of credit. He apologized for me that one because I was like, oh, geez, I didn't hook him. What are you doing? But uh, I, I always appreciate when, when refs can and show some show some humility. So uh, mistakes happen. I wasn't going to go complain to him all night long. But uh, yeah, that's why I did that. How could you in Malmö Arena at uh, Tuesday? Uh, revenge, I think. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, it's I uh, like playoffs. You you play a team back to back. Uh, you got a couple of days to learn from what they, their tendencies were and learn from what we did well and what we didn't do well. And so uh, I think tomorrow we'll take the day off and let the bodies and minds rest a little bit. And then on Sunday we'll come back and and watch some video and and try to be better for the next game against them.